What's up YouTube? It's your boy Robopanda15 here, back with another Valkyria Chronicles 4 Let's Play. And uh, yeah, finally back on this one. It's been about a week and some change. I got some, I got pretty busy with life and uh, some other community activities I was doing inside of the cab. So uh, yeah, this kind of went on hold for a little bit. Uh, finally got some time to sit down and record today, testing out the new Scuf Vantage controller from PS4. Uh, I also have a new mic. My PX24 is broke, so uh, we're now using uh, my Blue Snowball again, which uh, hopefully if I can get the audio levels right in the microphone, the uh, audio should be great for you guys, but uh, still playing around with a lot of those settings. Anyways, uh, we made some changes to the team. Give me one sec, I gotta adjust the mic. There we go, that works better. Uh, made some adjustments to the team. Really, really slight adjustments. Uh, we took out Viola. Um, and I took off, who else did I take off? Nope, just Viola. And we added in Curtis, who pairs well with Laurent. And Laurent pairs well with Aladdin, who in addition pairs well with Nij. So I have a really good four-man combo there of, uh, of a scout, um, of a, uh, scout, uh, Lancer and sni two and sniper team. So they all go very hand-in-hand -hand together. The scout can push as needed and, and provide actual defensive cover, while uh, it's a lot of offensive power in my uh, lancers and and my snipers, basically. So that's another combination I have as well uh, to work out very well. Also changed up and added in some of that equipment. So Curtis here, you know, it's Jester. Jester is running the Lenfield R1, which has better aim, uh, better better damage, basically. Millennia's rocking the capped bullets. I'm actually, actually, I'm gonna throw this on Kai. Because Kai could really make use out of those to help benefit her aim. And if you hear the mic moving around a lot, it's because this is actually a stationary mic. It's not attached to the headset anymore, so I'm still trying to get used to that. So apologies in the long run for that. I think I have a new sniper rifle for her, which is less damage per person, but is better aim. I'll throw that on there for her as well. Uh, with your snipers, most of the time you are going to be uh, doing better damage anyway. You are going to be one shot and killing, so I'm not too worried about the lack of aim there. Uh, but that should do there. That's all our changes that we've made, really. Um, haven't really upgraded an R&D. I did one skirmish. Uh, oh, all set for the I next picked up battle. the uh, medevac order that they were talking about. Uh, off, uh, using my XP I got from my skirmish. So you can see a little bit of changes in XP there. But uh, yeah, we're going to continue on with the story. Uh, looks like we're going into flashback mode here. Because last we left off, Ryan was burning. Uh, the enemy is kind of doing a scorched earth campaign uh, on their own soil. So any land they lose, they're torching, which is really interesting. Uh, and we saw the, we saw Riley and, uh, and Clyde kind of get back on the same foot for once, which is awesome. So yeah, we'll continue on here. Uh, still messing around with that book, huh? Raz. That your plan for after the war? Break into writing? Better buy me a drink with that sweet bestseller cash. It's nothing that exciting. Just keeping a little journal. We're on the front lines of a goddamn war, and you're writing gossip in a diary? I think it's good to keep a record of things, that's all. <laughs> Plus, it helps me organize my thoughts. And I guess it's a habit I picked up from, you know, him. You know, if you're that interested, we can buy a diary for you. Like hell. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess you wouldn't have much reason to. Well, what the hell's that supposed to mean? Well, like I'm some goddamn illiterate? <laughs> Perfect. No, no, just well, I'm not sure your thoughts are deep enough that there'd be any point in organizing Sorry, them. My mic is all. Oh, you son of a! I don't have to take this from your nerd ass. Miles, is that how they usually act around each other? Don't worry, they're just messing around. I don't think there's any actual offense. 
Oh, but I guess I don't have to tell you that. You've known them much longer than I have. Must be nice, ending up in the same squad as some old best friends from your hometown. Best friends? What, Raz and Claude? Uh, yes? I mean, we played together when we were kids, but Raz started running with the wrong crowd, and then... Uh, anyway, I don't know that I'd call them friends. More like a bully and his mark. I never would have figured they'd end up all buddy-buddy. Let alone Raz taking orders from Claude, of all people. Oh... That actually explains a lot. Well, it lines up with other things I've heard. But they say the toughest bonds are the ones forged in fire, huh? If things did change between them, it was probably thanks to an incident back in training. What happened? Oh boy, we're in flashback mode. Oh boy, I like that. That's kind of interesting. The first game never... No, I think they did. They had a couple. I think it was one or two flashbacks, but it's mostly just progressive Let's story. Let's see. Gosh, I think it was about a year ago now. It was May of 1934. Finally, that damn drill sergeant is gone. I swear, if I see that bastard in the field, I'm gunning his ass down. Save that rage for the Empire, Raz. Kai. It's not just training anymore. From now on, we're going to be fighting real Imperials. <laughs> Maybe. But that guy's earned a place on my shit list for life. It was one button undone. I didn't expect him to deck me and send me on a 40k run. There was a lesson in that. On the battlefield, the slightest mistake could cost you your life. Yeah, but remember when he found my contraband? Oh. That beautiful pinup by your bunk? I understand confiscating it, but I wasn't expecting him to return it... Uh... used. This drill sergeant that they're talking about is a genius, and I would love to have him in my, in my unit. <laughs> ah, did Zaga's wifey cheat on him with an officer? Talk about an honorable discharge! They definitely stepped up some of the maturity themes a lot more in this one, which I love. That bastard! Oh, Betty, my angel, what did he do to you? <laughs> Sorry, Zyga, but I guess love hurts! <laughs> guess you've earned the right to hold a little grudge. We'll just have to wait and see who's next on your... <laughs> I mean, who's gonna be our new commander. Who knows? If it's some stuck-up bastard, we'll just kick him out. Simple as that. Raz, we aren't just recruits anymore. Our superior gives the orders and we follow them. Sure, but Raz the Invincible doesn't play by the rules. Not even his own rules. Why should I listen to some old geezer from the last war? Or a smug prick who got in on their family name? Hey, I know. How about you become the squad leader, Kai? That would be ridiculous. I don't have any remarkable heritage, nor experience. I'm just a thug from the slums, same as you. Who would trust someone like me to lead them into battle? Oh, come on! You're smarter than any of us here. You're a crack shot, you got nerves of steel. Even the old sergeant never tried smacking you around. He never had an excuse. He respected you. No, I bet he was scared of you. Seriously, man, I can't think of anyone who'd make a better leader. Well, I heard our incoming commander graduated as valedictorian of his class at the military academy. Valedictorian? He must really be the best of the best. That's a real feat. Ah, oh, great. Some rich scumbag with a stick up his ass. Just what I need. Well, looks like he's here. Tension! Can't wait. I'd like to introduce you to the commander of Squad E. Meet your new leader, Second Lieutenant Claude Wallace. Claude? Wallace? You 
got to be kidding. <laughs> Never imagined we'd run into each other out here. Uh, hello. It's uh, nice to see you again, Kai. Raz? Scaredy Claude? You're supposed to be our leader? Like hell I'm ever taking orders from you. Soldier, you are speaking to your superior officer. <laughs> He's a goddamn coward is what he is. And I'll say it as many times as I want. Raz, enough. Enough for you? I'm never going to respect this son. Raz. That's it. You're dismissed from today's training. Get running. I want 100 kilometers. I don't think they realize um, how many kilometers are in 100 kilometers. Sure, whatever you want. Sign me up, long as I don't have to listen to him. One hell of a first day on the job, right? I guess you've got your work cut out for you. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm really going to like this story. Um, I, I love stories that deal with the bonds that bring people together like that it, it allows for so the, the reason I love the I love the Valkyrie Chronicles series is because of the insane character amount of character development they have in their characters and with Welkin and Alicia in the first game it just there were so many great moments of that that really just made me smile and it made me respect what the franchise does because coming from military family and being around the military so often as I am it it's always awe-inspiring when games really focus down on the whole brotherhood side of everything and that's that's something that I feel like a lot of games strive to do for when they represent the military but they never actually get there uh, but games like this for some reason it was just really do a great job at captivating a lot of that Sure, it's in a fictional setting, but the stakes are all the same, and it's still, it's always really interesting. Like, these are still things that do happen, and are there, and they do exist, and seeing how those people that come from such conflicting backgrounds or conflicting ideals come together to, you know, save their own lives, save each other's lives, put it, put it for them, put it for the team, not for their own lives is great. Claude! Miles, <laughs> last time I saw you was when we were paired up for tank training. <laughs> I'm surprised you remember me. I wasn't even from the military academy. I was just your average driver fresh out of basic. And I heard you graduated as valedictorian, right? That's incredible. Only thanks to you, we wouldn't have aced the tank course without your help. Really, you're giving me too much credit. But I'll do my best not to break our streak. Now you want me to take orders from him? Calm down, Raz. We're in the army now. Rank is everything. You know that already. You want ranks? Sure, I'm sergeant and he's second lieutenant. But he's still a worse shot than me. And his CQC's a joke. I'm sure I told you. Claude graduated as valedictorian of his class in the military academy. He's not the same Claude we knew. Yeah? So tell me what's changed. Valedictorian? Don't give me that shit. Hey, Claude. Claude! Look me in the eye, you bastard. <sighs> you hear me? I didn't drag my ass through all that training just to have you be the one yanking on my chest. I'll fight the imps and put my life on the line to do it, but I am not letting Scaredy Claw get me killed. <laughs> Pathetic. If you can't even talk back, then you really are a coward. What's his problem? How can he talk to you like that? Aren't you going to say anything? Put him in his place. You were peerless in the tank training, and you were a better shot than anyone on the artillery. Claude, I... No, everyone who saw you in training looked up to you. There's no way anyone could call you a coward. 
I hope you don't hold it against him. The music him. shift is something Rez interesting. is more sensitive than he lets on, and he's not sure how to deal with this. Kai! Miles. Raz, Claude, and I, we all grew up together in the town of Hoffman. We were all pretty young when we first became friends. Too young to know about things like social standing. But the reality was that Raz and I were kids from the slums, and Claude was upper class. He didn't know our struggles. We got older and learned more about how the world works. And the more Raz understood, the more it hurt him. <sighs> Claude. I'm sure on some level, Raz is happy to see you again. But when he gets emotional, he just... refuses to listen. You know how he is. I can try to convince him, but... Sorry guys, moving my mic again. Still trying to find a good position. I got a uh, studio boom uh, that I'm going to be getting tomorrow, so... <laughs> that'll help out with the mic issues I'm it's having. It's fine, Kai. I understand. I don't think I can reach him through words alone. I'm the commander of this squad now. This is my problem. I'll try to think of a solution. Claude. Mm. You're right. Probably for the best. This is really interesting. I I am having there's such a big smile on my face because I kind of see I, you we already know where the story's gonna go with it because obviously what they are nowadays. But it's cool to see that development happen. And then several days later, all the members of the squad were gathered for an important announcement. What? We're taking on the Ranger course? That's the most difficult training in the army, isn't it? Excuse me? Is this ranger course really that bad? Only a select few manage to become rangers. It's a title for real heroes. The best of the best. If we clear the ranger course, we get assigned to special nice missions. Brooke. And we all get epaulets. But the regiment is... tough. I hear it's made soldiers desert. Well, the ones who didn't wind up in the infirmary. Right. I hear that training stretches you to your limits, mentally and physically. What? Well, is it too late to back out of this? Y'all gotta remember, Nico's like 16. This is... that's... that's insane. Sign me up! I've always been interested in the Ranger Corps. Hey, whatever pays the bills, I'll do it. I, uh... I'm not sure. That's the same, I can't remember her name, but that's the same voice actress that voices, uh... Uh, it's not Neptune, it's her sister... Uh, Nepgear, that's who it is. The whole squad will be taking the course. We're all gonna pass it. Not a single failure. What the hell? Claude, you realize what you're saying? Yes, I don't make promises I can't keep. Ha! <laughs> Get real! Me and Kai are gonna pass no problem, but the others? I don't think so. No, we're all gonna beat this. I've read your files. You've all got your quirks, sure, but I see it more like each of you has hidden potential. And I know you all enlisted for your own reasons. Good reasons. The reason I joined the military was to protect Galia from the Empire. It's my homeland, and I'll fight for it. And all of you stand here today because you have something you want to accomplish or protect. But right now, we're just a handful of soldiers among tens, hundreds of thousands. We're pawns on a board. I don't intend on staying a pawn. I want to bring the Empire down with my own hands, by my own will. If I want to do that, however, I need results. I need to earn trust. 
I need to stand on the front lines and change battles with my own decisions and tactics. And if we can make it into the elite ranks of the Rangers, I can make that a reality. What a load of bullshit. So, Claude, this is your solution? <sighs> I have to say, Raz, I'm surprised at your cowardice. <laughs> what did you just say? True, the ratios of physical and mental capability in this squad may be a bit uneven. But that's something that could be covered between the two of us. Isn't that right? <sighs> or, do you think you can't complete the Ranger curriculum having to carry around the weight of our comrades? Who? Uh, of course not! I'd finish this thing even if I have to carry the others on my back! Then it's settled. <laughs> Sounds like you're all set, Second Lieutenant Wallace. Now, according to our deal, time for your mock combat mission. A mock battle? They want to test the squad's abilities. They need to know if we're ready to take on the Ranger course. Ha! Huh. Hope they're ready to see what Gallians are made of. Fine by me, but who's playing our enemy in this trial? The Ranger Corps elites. Well, that ought to be... Wait, what the hell? How are we supposed to beat them? The Ranger Corps is no playground. We're making quite an exception to let your whole squad attempt this. We'll see if your results can justify it. Interesting. I like that concept. That's great. Looks like our first combat op will be a trial by fire. Well, Claude, time to do the impossible, right? Right. We're not going to lose this. All right. Here we go. Let's go over the details of the mock battle. All right. What do we got? Our goal is to capture the base camps. The instructors designate within the time limit. Sorry, I'm moving stuff around. One second, guys. Uh, within the time limits. We also need to keep our losses to a minimum. After all, they need to test whether the entire squad is ready for the ranger course. This can't be too difficult. One more thing. It doesn't look like Roz has accepted you as our commander, so he'll be operating solo. Okay. He'll run off on his own and won't listen to orders. Great. All right. So if Claude, Roz, or Kai is forced to retreat, three or more allies are forced to retreat, or two turns pat. Ooh, I like that. You have to do it in two turns. All right. Do I have my good ones here? All right. For this one, I think we want to bring Rosetta and Nico for sure. No. Let's bring... I don't have any shock troops that like each other. That's kind of... That's kind of a big oof. Um... Da, da, da. Master Sniper. Let's think here. They gave me an entirely new team here. Oh boy. Um, shit. I guess if we put Zyga in, Zyga can work with Roz. I don't want to. I don't want to bank on that though. Is the issue. Um, did they say anything about armor? I don't think they said anything about armor. But armor, but. That's my cue. Um, hmm. No, we'll bring Viola. Just tell me who to shoot. Uh, Godwin would be good to bring. I'll do what I want. And yeah, we'll bring Curtis as well. They're kind of Let's go. Lone wolves. Next 
actually no. I'll bring Ros we'll, do, we'll do that. We'll bring Rosetta. We'll bring I'll handle this. Because at least I'll have uh, scouts that'll pair. I'll again. do my best. All right, here we go. Let's do it. That's what we got. We're doing it. I know you can do this, Claude. Good luck. I have a bad feeling this is going to be either incredibly difficult or There's insanely no easy, back. but I'm going to really Let's overthink it. Let's go, everyone. It. <laughs> Show them what we've got. Here we go. So Claude is a scout for this one. That's really interesting. Your first objective will be to capture this point. Exceed the time limit, turns, and you'll be disqualified. Turns. Your mission starts now. Give it all you've got, soldiers. Look at all of them. Elites everywhere. We're screwed if we take them head on. What? Rass, where are you going? Shut it. I don't take orders from you. I'll handle this my own way. See ya. Say. <laughs> Fine. I don't need your help. I'll finish this without you. Hmm. But I can still command him from the looks of it. Oh, he cannot be commanded. Okay. I got this. What a fool again. Eat lead. What an absolute fool again. So he's not even gonna pay attention to the objective then. Okay, so there's three camps we have to take out in total. Oh no, it's just gonna be okay. You have to cap I'm guessing basically what the objectives will be is you have to capture each camp. Uh, within two turns, basically. Makes sense. Two scouts and a... Three scouts and a shock trooper. Um, I can probably bound past this guy here. I got... Uh, seven command points from the looks of it. So yeah, we can... Let's see. I'm gonna pick off that shock trooper with Kai. Let's go! Get Kai in position first. Shock Trooper doing? Nothing but head. Perfect. Huh. Alright, Shock Troop down. Sim. I like it. They also, uh, they don't have them in Gali, they don't have them in, uh, the Imperial uniforms, which is really cool. I like that. Uh, let's see. We'll get Viola to flank around, and then I'll have my, I'll have my scout team rush in, and they will take care of these guys. Uh, with frag. That'll work out nicely. This should be fun. I'm probably not even talking into the mic. Here we go. That'll work better. All right. Perfect. Ah! That worked. Worked out nicely. All right. Well, they're certainly committed. Uh, can I get there? No, I'm not gonna be able to get there in time. That's fine. That's that's perfectly fine. Razzle flank around over here to that scout. Our eventual move is this base. Okay. Um, he's got the most health. 212, 230, 196. All right. Claude's doing it. Commencing attack. To run. Uh, I'll have Rosetta and Nico will be the flanking unit that'll flank around to the right once we capture this base. Your objective is here. What? Your defenses are even tougher than before. How do they expect us to break through this? Wait. They don't. This whole test was a farce. They never intended to let us pass in the first place. Claude. Keep it together, Claude. Everyone's eyes are on you. Oh, sorry, Kai. Sorry, everyone. I got too caught up in my own head and... No, you're right. Times like these are exactly when I need to stay calm. All right, we're still on turn it's one, fine. which is good. As long as you understand. Now, take a breath, calm down, and look around. 
Anything stand out to you? Around us? That's it! The terrain! We can use it to our advantage! Ha! Huh. You seeing this? Who's supposed to be the leader here? Hmm. For one of the Academy's blue bloods, he's pretty flexible. There's something cute about <laughs> that. He's a little uptight, but I can see a fire in his eyes. The man's got guts. <sighs> <laughs> Ross can't even really hear us. He's all the way on the other side of the battlefield right now, my guy. Okay. Four turns pass. Okay, gotcha. That works. Works for me. Take that camp within four turns. I think I'm going to flank south. Uh, there's plenty of tall grass around there. I can bring my shot troop. Oh, shit. There is a tank. There is a tank. All right. All right. Let's get Curtis up. Let's get uh, Lawrence up. Which I already got him. Um, Gene, Stanley, and Viola. We'll get Gene up. And we'll get Stanley up. Spend my CP on calling in the reinforcements. They're going to make their move. Ross is going to be an idiot over here still. They gave him an easy path. Where you can just mow down scouts as he goes along. That's kind of dumb. Oh shit. Oh. Spicy beams, boys. Here we go. I need. I need Kai up here ASAP. Here comes the pain! Is he gonna take care of the sniper or is he gonna get rid of this one guy shooting at him? No, nope, he's gonna get rid of the one guy shooting at him. Of course. Eight led! Team player, this guy. Look at him. What a tool. Alright, there we go. So, we'll prone the grass with our new Lancer team that we got up there. Uh, who has the best... Leave it to me! First. All right, we can flank around this tank. We should be all right. And I'll get my scouts in position on the, on the right side. On the south side, they'll come around and hit these. Valedictorian, huh? They'll come around and hit Amazing. those two in the rear. Let's but I want to see if I can do. one-shot this tank. What's that shock trooper doing? Don't tell me this is their strategy. Come on. Come on, Gene, I need you around on this tank. Let's do it to... Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm going to get one enough. shot and one shot only with this. And then i got to frag these guys here. So the test will end if even a single person fails? Alright, here we go. Let's do it, Gene. Perfection. Beautiful hit. Excellent. Well done. Well done. All right. Uh, nope. Understood. Jesus Christ, my Alexa app just turned off. Let me, let me mute that real quick and throw that over here. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Come on. Let's All right. Play. Tanks eliminated. Let's take care of the sniper before he does any more damage to Claude and my team. Perfection, <laughs> Kai. Excellent work. Target down. Yeah. All right. Next, next up, Let's Stanley. Let's get this party started. He gets frag ready. Crawl through this grass here. No need to hold back. Ooh. Hit it with your best shot. I love the tall grass feature. It's so great. There's more to combat than just frontal assaults. All right. Come on, let's I don't play. think one frag's gonna do it. Eh, it might. We'll see. Here's the punchline. Oh, sweet. Oh, it almost did. That guy's super weak. 
have him bound past Gene here. Let's Show us what you're made of. So he can take care of that once uh, I clear the zone. I'll just have him fucking full on blast him. Okay. Uh, I don't want to leave my scouts behind right now. That's going to be the major issue. So let me pull up. Let me pull up Viola. Uh, no, we'll do this. I'll send these two to the back. Um, that, that's not going to take any CP because they're right there. Uh, I can't have Claude retreat. Curtis, you're up. Moving out. Nice to feel dirt under my feet. What's that shock trooper doing? Don't tell me this is their strategy. So Curtis put a few rounds in this guy. Literally just put a round. I lied. Good. Okay, done. And keep him moving through the grass. So the test will end if even a single person fails? Excellent. All right, they're all set up there. Uh, I need to get Kai moving. But I, I do want to save my CP as well. We'll save the CP. Understood. Good. You rang. Perfect. I was gonna say, I hope Stanley shoots him too Enemy and down. hits his rounds, because otherwise I might not kill him in this one move. Come on. There we go. Gotcha. Alright. That worked out nicely. Let's let's keep it on going. Never thought you'd get this far. Very well. The next objective will be the last. These defenses are stronger than any previous objective. Now, Squad E, let's see how you handle it. Raz is all alone over there. <clears throat> What's the matter? Something on your mind? It's Raz's position. I don't know if he planned it, but he's in the ideal place to strike. If we coordinate with him over there, it doesn't matter how good the opponent is. We can still win this. Really? And how do you plan to do that? He's not inclined to listen, unless you're going to grovel right here and now. <sighs> you know exactly what's going through his head right now, don't you? He hasn't changed a bit. Raz is still... A sore loser. He never thinks ahead, and charges blindly into danger. But he's still strong, loyal, and reliable. Sounds like you already know what you need to do. I'll leave the rest to you. Damn it. I'm a sitting duck out here. No way I'm gonna break through just charging in like an idiot. If I could just get some covering fire, this would be a cakewalk. Raz! Yeah, what the... Don't just yell like that out of nowhere, you dumbass. If we want to break through this, it'll take an assault from your position. If our squad's going to win, we need you. What? You can do whatever you like later. Hit me, yell at me, whatever helps. So please. All right, everyone. Once Raz begins his charge, we cover him with all the firepower we've got. Raz can shut down the snipers and machine guns and keep us all safe. Let's move out. What the? Hey, wait a goddamn minute. I never said I'd... Ugh, damn it, fine. I'm on it. Hang tight. <laughs> oh, damn. It's actual static machine gun positions. Holy shit. All right, eight turns pass. Cool, cool. Let's see here. So I retreated my two scouts on the way back here. Hmm, I'm definitely not pushing through that front door there. I'm going to hold a line with it with a couple scouts. 
So, like, Curtis here will hold it, but the rest of them are not. Um, let's bounce up Rosetta and Nico. He's under my command now. I need to go. I need to use I got it this. before I lose it. Uh, sniper's the most important threat right now. Wide open! Excellent. Perfect. Let's see if I can uh, frag these uh, machine gun positions here in a second. Hopefully I'm out of their turn radius and they can't turn around. Oh, sweet. They're not going to attack us. Nice. So we're going to line up the scouts going here. Uh, let's get Claude pushed up. Doing fine. Uh, I'm gonna have Kai pick off a few. I will see this through. Yeah, I'm gonna have Kai pick off a few of them. While we move. Well, they're certainly committed. Actually, no, I don't have all. I forgot the giant walls in front of me. I can actually move right if I wanted to. Blast this dude in the face. Can't run. I'll move up Rosetta and Nico. Uh, first things first, though, I think we need to clear. I'm definitely going to clear those machine guns with uh, Roz. But they I are got in a pretty this. precarious position. These guys over here are probably going to tag it. Uh, so let's get Curtis on the ball. I can do this. Have him come around the same way Roz, or not Roz, uh, Claude just went. What's that shock trooper doing? Don't tell me this is their strategy. They're all so young. This guy is probably gonna try to. I'll be rooting for you. Give it your all. Uh, yeah, let's let's do it on this guy's head here. Frag these guys here. That'll be a nice cover What's fire. This? That'll be a nice suppression for Roz, so you won't have to deal with these idiots. Uh, he is good. We are gonna have to deal with that shock troop there. So I'm gonna get back just a tad. Hopefully, I can avoid fire from the machine guns. Uh, Roz, you're gonna come around. I got this. Class this dude. Come on. Uh, let's get him in position. Your own damn fault. Fight like you're fighting actual Imperials. Fight like you're fighting actual Imperials. GG. All right. Here comes the pain. Let's turn with him. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. At this point, yeah. Your own damn fault. Uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get um, Claude up top to assist with Curtis, and then attack. we'll push through with uh, Rosetta. Good, good. Alright, Curtis, and then we'll move, uh, move up. There we go. That'll work out nicely. Give him all you got! Perfect. Excellent execution there, boys. Alright. Now Rosetta's gonna move up and mm -hmm. get set. No problem. Excellent. Enemy race on That's the that. Ha ha. We win. That was perfect. 
I had a feeling that would be a lot harder than what it was, but they really walked you through each step of it, which is kind of interesting. That's it! The test is finished! Squad E, you've gone above and beyond! It's a unanimous decision. All of you are cleared for the Ranger course. I wish you the best of luck. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> we really did it! I knew we'd pull through! Well, you two are going to be a handful. <laughs> Give me that A-Rig, boys. Yes! Did everything in the minimal amount of turns I needed to. That was perfect. All right. I'm really interested in this story with Kai, and... You certainly impressed someone in that last... Oh, nice. Oh! Nice! I got some more, uh... Lenfields. Perfect. I'm really interested in the story of Kai and how... What I'm assuming is his sister took his name. Took her... Took his name. I have a feeling it's pretty tragic, though. Him, Kai. You saw, right? I took him all down. Oh, I saw. I think it was teamwork that won us this one. Oh, come on! Give the guy some credit here. No, Kai. He's right. We couldn't have won without you, Raz. I didn't realize until I saw you in action. All I had were my armchair theories. He may have been a loose cannon, but that's exactly what we needed. Well, I mean, you... No, sounds like you're finally paying attention, so... And, I mean, your theories and tactical crap worked out pretty okay for us in the end. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Hey, look, don't go thinking you're hot shit now, all right? You're still not ready to be commander, <sighs> got that? So, when you can't do it alone, just ask me, or Kai, or any of the others, and we can help. We're all badasses here, right? Right. The... the baddest of asses. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> God, you're still such a nerd. Ah, uh, sorry. You did good, Raz. What? Damn it, Kai! Get your hand off my head! <laughs> Would you stop treating me like I'm some kid? I need a smoke. <laughs> he really needs to be a little more honest with himself. Claude, there's something I'd like to give you. What's this? A little record I've been keeping of this squad. From now on, it'll be yours to maintain. It's a diary, more or less, with logistical information. Might come in handy for making quick, precise decisions. Hmm. A leader's got to keep a level head, right? Kai... The squad's in your hands now. <laughs> and after that, we all entered the ranger course. And true to his word, none of us failed. No one had seen anything like us. We were soon assigned to the ranger corps. That was where it all started, for Claude and for all of us. Where we became the elite, where we became rangers. I would like to see the actual, I, I feel like they're gonna go more into it, but they wrap it up a little bit too much between Roz and Kai, or Roz and uh, Claude for some reason. Uh, definitely I would have liked to see him open up a tad bit more, but he feels like he opened up a bit too much in there. That was where we became Squad E. But still, good nonetheless. All right, one last and uh, one last thing, and then we'll uh, move on and uh, end the episode for today or tonight, whenever you're watching this. <laughs> but that was where our real test started. Survival training was definitely the worst part. I remember Raz yelling, "Someone shoot me now! Cause I'd rather die than eat a damn frog." Ugh. Raw frogs. 
Just when I thought I'd forgotten the taste. <sighs> In any case, all the training they threw at us, we beat it together. And that's the story of how Squad E came to be. You all went through a lot before I got here, huh? I guess they both changed. And I... Hey, tell me something. How'd you end up in the military anyway? I still can't believe Scaredy Claude is my commanding officer now. And undefeated, too. <laughs> well, I can't blame you. No, seriously. Why are you here, man? It's not because of all that stuff back then, right? When Riley's folks... <laughs> uh, should've figured. Guess that part of you never really changed, huh? Still kind of pisses me off. Sorry, Raz. <laughs> I don't know why you're apologizing. <laughs> God, you're hopeless. Look at you trying to clam up again. Come on, you even got me on your side. And I definitely wasn't what you'd call cooperative. You're doing fine. We're all a load of losers, misfits, and freaks. And even so, you keep us together. You think so? Ugh, still? What do I gotta say? Come on. Listen, you're no scaredy Claude anymore. This stuff with Riley's gonna be fine, okay? Raz. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> Chapter 3, Rangers in the Storm. Ooh, they're playing more with the weather now, which is awesome. I can't wait. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Could we get... Norid Sadinen. So, are you much of a nature lover, sir? I feel like he's a sniper. My name's Eva. Um, I hope we learn a lot from each other. Awesome, cool. I'll have to take a look at all that stuff. Nice. But... Anyways, that's it for today's episode. Finally glad back to playing this on the PS4. I've been holding myself at bay from playing it on my Switch simply because I wanted to keep my reactions to each uh, cutscene and uh, level kind of fresh for you guys going in blind for this. So yeah, really wanted to make sure that that was still there and still wholesome. Uh, now that we're actually getting into the parts of the games where I haven't played up to it. So yeah, definitely. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe for more content. And always uh, leave a comment. I try to read any old comments that I possibly can. I try to reply to as many as I possibly can as well. Uh, those ones that obviously warrant it. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Panda, checking out.